This is um, Financial Aid Awareness Month, and so um, this is all about encouraging our students and potential prospective students um, to get that FAFSA done. Do not be afraid of it. Um, I too was sitting in your shoes, had to complete the FAFSA not knowing what to do. I'll age myself a little here. When I did it, I was doing it on paper. <laughs> And so I didn't have the luxury of the internet and the computer um, to complete the questions and knew which ones I had to answer and which ones I didn't have to answer. And so I got through it. I encourage you to do the same. Oh, and when it was time for me to submit the FAFSA, I learned something. I needed my taxes and my parents' tax information. Wasn't so long for my own because I didn't work, um, but my parents' tax returns needed to be submitted and I needed to provide that information on the FAFSA. And so if your parents have not filed their taxes from prior years, then that could cause a delay in your financial aid processing. I learned that firsthand. <laughs> but I did not let that stop me. I got through that process and I, because of that, I was selected for verification. And I had to provide the documentation so that I could move forward in the financial aid process to get my financial aid award. Um, there are other resources where you can receive um, financial supports through scholarships that can help you pursue and obtain your educational goals. So once again, um, the FAFSA process, the financial aid process, it could be quite daunting. But like I said at the beginning, I experienced that and I made it. I got through the financial aid process. I actually got through four years at the University of Virginia. And today I'm here as the Director of Financial Aid at Reynolds Community College to help ensure that you too get through the process a financial aid that you too graduate um, from Reynolds and move on to whatever your next steps are in your educational or professional journey.